Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to learn how we can grab an image and upload it to the server using Laravel. For example, if I select this image, it, it will open this uh, image and I have to select which part of the image I want to grab. So I will select it, scroll down, click save and upload. So it will grab that part of image and it will upload this to public folder upload inside here uh, as you guys can see it will upload the corrupted image so let's see how we can build this to make this video shorter i have already created this project and i will walk you guys step by step how i made this project now let's go the first step we have to down go to this github repo and download cropper.js from here click the code button and download zip after the download is finished, unzip these files and upload only two files which we need. One is cropper.main.css and another one is cropper.main.js. Upload these two files inside your public folder assets and create a folder with the name of cropper.js. Upload these two inside your public folder. Then after that, let me make it like this. So it will be much easier to understand. After that, we need to use uh, those two files. We have to uh, have to add those two inside our HTML file, one is which is cropper.main.css and another one is cropper.main.js. Then after that, the HTML part we will start. We have to create this two button. The first one button, which will uh, we use to upload the file and another button to save the crop image and upload it to the server. And also we need a uh, preview of our image to see and crop the image. Now, in the, uh, after that, we will create our script. So first we have to create a variable with the name of image and select the file. After that, we have to create another variable to hold the cropper instance. Then uh, when the user selects an image, this part is uh, important. When the user select an image, we want to display the cropper and so so the user can crop the image. So we will add an event listener on the select image button. Then we will check if the user has selected the image or not. If it's selected, then we will save it inside a file variable. After that, we will create a new instance of file reader and on load we will show our cropper then after the user crop in here we will save it as a read as a data url so it will remember that it will change our image from file to a base 64 string so this part is very important after that the user crop the image and press the save and upload button then we have to upload the image to the server. So for this, we will also create an, another event li listener to save this to the server. For that, we will uh, check uh, create a variable and we will say if cropper has a value data, then we will give it the height and weight. After that, we will save that cropper to the image data. Then we will use Ajax to upload the our image data once the arch request is complete then we will set set the source of our profile image to the crop image and we will destroy the cropper so this will be the follow first the user will select the image then the user will crop the image after the crop is done then the user will select save and upload it will upload to the server and show the crop image in the profile image in here. So this is the part of the HTML and JavaScript. Now let's see how we save this to the public folder. How we delete inside our controller. So if I go to controllers, drop zoom controller in here. This part. So I, I will save the request input image the data that we get from the request inside this image data variable and I will replace change the 
base64 image data to the png file using this part of the code so uh, at the back end it will be saved back as an image then i will add it using this code i will save it inside of my uploads folder and with the file name which i set in here then if i want to save the image uh, name in the database i will use this code and at the end i will return success return with the file name so this is how we can craft an image and upload it to the server using laravel hope you guys enjoyed the video and like it if you have any questions write it down in the comment